Okay, guys, so... I was thinking... Like, back to, like, critical dive and reviews. I was thinking I'm gonna kinda... Kinda make some reviews. Not, like, in-depth reviews. Not anything, like, too crazy. But usually when I finish a game, I like to review. Or, you know... Like, I, I like to say what I like about the game during the playthrough. And I am able to see the difference of my viewpoints when I start a gameplay. And then end it. So when I start, I might have, like, a really bad view of the game. But then, later on, a little bit further in, I might have a pretty okay view of the game. And then that okay view then goes to... A medium view. Or an amazing view. So, specifically speaking, Minecraft. Let's say Minecraft as the example. I don't like Minecraft for its difficulty. I don't like Minecraft for its... What's the best word for it? Combat. I don't like Minecraft for a lot of things. What I like Minecraft for is its creativity. I like Minecraft for its survival aspect. Getting all the materials, building a 3D object. And its blocky aspect because building a 3D object in a 3D space is interesting. Now, if I wanted combat, I would be playing something like Terraria. But I don't like Terraria for its creativity because it's stuck in a 2D plane. But Terraria definitely has way more weapons and way more options for gameplay and combat. Both of them have pretty good modding communities. I'd say Terraria has a lot more of a supported modding community than Minecraft in itself. Because Minecraft never really had mod support. It just kind of had, like, mod loaders, Curse Forge, many different things, but it was never, like, a thing where you launch Minecraft and you could launch a modded version of Minecraft. Now, if I'm ever going to state this any further, do I agree with that everything Minecraft does? No. Mending is an enchantment. It's not really, like, a... A balanced enchantment, but it lets players be more creative in survival. And if you're like, oh, then just go in creative mode if you want to be creative. But the difference is, when you're collecting all these materials and such, in survival, like, you're limited. You're very limited, so something like mending is nice. I would say, though, it'd be nice if you could disable the ability to get mending overall in a Minecraft playthrough as a way for players to have an option to adjust their difficulty of the game. Like, maybe make crops grow slower. That's something that could improve it. So specifically speaking, if I were to rate Minecraft, and I don't like using numbers a lot, even though if I use it in Critical Dive, but I don't like using numbers a lot. I like to say what, what it does well. So Minecraft really does survival well. Like, survival building. I like Minecraft for the survival building aspect. It does it incredibly well, to my knowledge. And from my experience of many hours in the game. And I'd say... The best part... Of all of that... Is... The... Farms and other stuff you build whilst you're trying to make bigger buildings. Like all of those automated farms, maybe an automated sheep farm. You can have a cobblestone generator. You can have so many things. And I like that because it kind of allows you to do things. It allows you to change up how you play the game. It allows you to build objectives around your building instead of just building an empty building because it's fun to build an empty building. And don't get me wrong, people can enjoy building empty buildings all they want. Why not? It's like, it's their fun. It's their game. They get to play the game how they want to. So, when you play a game that's like survival Minecraft, if you want to play it hardcore, you can. If you die and you lose everything, you can. You have the option. But if you don't want that, you also have the option to not have hardcore. And that is solely dependent on the player. Now, what I'm saying is, 
I do not like Minecraft for its adventure aspect. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, they, they have been helping with it a lot with the updates with, relating to caves. Caves are a lot more fun to mine through now. Uh, not, not everybody might agree with that, but I like the lower spawn rate of coal in the most recent updates because it added a little bit more of a challenge when it comes to iron, like cooking the iron and coal stuff, making, you know, tree farms a little bit more valuable for the charcoal and stuff. But coal is still gettable because now it's a surface thing and not a deep down underground thing. So now I can prepare before going underground by, well... Harvesting coal, making Fortune 3 a lot more valuable as well. I haven't seen as much iron either, which makes Fortune 3 a lot more valuable plain out. I haven't been seeing a lot of those underground mine shafts either, which is an interesting thing because I used to see them every corner. I also, also, I also used to see ravines every corner. And ravines were annoying as hell, if I'm going to be honest. Because <laughs> when, you, when you were only able to see ravines, it kind of sucked. So guess what? I do like the caves update. Now, cliffs, I haven't really looked at the cliffs yet. Uh, but I, I do like the caves update. I don't really agree with mending. I'm going to be honest. I use it. Because why not? But maybe I'll stop using it. No, honestly, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I do agree with Mending because Minecraft is not a difficult game. Like, it's not a difficulty game. And it's obvious that they want you to build stuff in it. So that's actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going back on that statement. Like, I'm fine with Mending in the game. But if anyone talks about balancing and not to add something in because you can't harvest stuff faster. Like, oh, they don't have a potion of harvesting be a potion of haste because because balancing issues um, i would just be like what are you talking about we have mending <laughs> but uh yeah so if you guys want some more realistic reviews uh with my biases and other things i have played a lot of games and i'll just tell you straight up like plain out like i'm not i'm not friendly with games like even if they're games i really enjoy i'm not friendly with them because I am one of those people that played so many games that I kind of know what I like and what I don't like. Now, back th back in the day, I would have said I enjoy specifically a certain type of content, and that would be open world content. That has changed now when majority of games with open world content don't have good game content. Like, you're just walking around and there's nothing really there. So like it's just a big empty sandbox, but you can't build. And that's why I like Minecraft, because Minecraft's open world, but you can build the content around. So you're in a big empty sandbox, but you build the stuff. Whilst in other sandbox type games, you might not actually be able to build. And it's not supposed to be a sandbox. But the devs made it a sandbox because they weren't able to actually fill it up with enough content to where it felt like it was a engaging game. I'd say some games like Dust X did incredibly well. Like, the oldest one was probably the emptiest. I found with the second one, it aged pretty well. But the second one, like Dust X number two, had something with it that I didn't really enjoy. And that was, there wasn't as many openable things, like, you didn't open everything. But that's, like, nitpicking. That's, like, the small things. But I find in the small things is usually where the best of some games are. And sometimes it's not even in the small things. I mean, you look at The Long Drive. The Long Drive is a game where you just drive for a long time. And it's based around keeping your vehicle fueled and keep driving. And I enjoy that game because it's simplistic, it tells you what it is, and you play it, and it's enjoyable. Like, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is what it says it is, and you know what to expect. And so, when I play games that I go in and I don't know what to expect, you can expect from me a really bad review. Like, uh, how am I supposed to review something that I don't even understand how you're supposed to review it? So, for example... 
a game that is good and it has very different things, but it still has its fine defined content that is very obvious and very discernible from your average everyday content and isn't like filled with random shit all over would be a game like the souls like dark souls specifically elden ring and or dark souls 1 or dark souls 2 so dark souls 1 and dark souls 2 you may think oh but it's very complex no they have a fine composition to their game like you know when you're playing a souls game because it has that feel to it it always has that specific feel and i know exactly how to review that sort of thing so when i play elden ring and i feel it doesn't have as much direction i know there's those little things that you can see and it moves around right like you can see the yellow, little yellow lines that tell you where to go. I mean, like, direction in the sense of progression direction. Like, you don't know where to go. As in, I actually enjoy Elden Ring more during the second playthrough. Not everybody experiences like that. But I enjoy it more during the second, third, or fourth playthrough. Because I know where to go and I know I'm not wasting time and I'm actually making progress in a good direction. I'm actually experiencing the content at a decent rate. And I get to play with different weapons. I get to play with different gear. I get to experience the game a lot more consistently than a first playthrough. And that was my experience with Elden Ring, specifically speaking. And a lot of people might not agree with that. And that's fine if you don't agree with that. But I am different, you know? Like, everybody's different. Everybody has their own biases. Everybody has their own reviews. So, I'm not special in a different way. But I am, like, different in my tastes. You might not care of my tastes, but maybe you want to hear about them. Maybe you want to hear about my take on something. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. But I don't want to say what you guys want to hear. Because if I say what you guys want to hear, why should, like, bald people on the internet, like... <laughs> You know, why should like a bunch of gamers like in the basement, like determine how you see a game? Like, why should I tell you how to feel about a game? Game reviews or anything like I, I don't want to tell you how you should feel about a game. I want you to feel about how to game, how you want to feel about that game. So feel free to enjoy games to your heart is content. And you know what? You should enjoy the game for what you like it for. Like, I don't understand why a lot of these game reviews say 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10. It's like, of course they're going to say it. That's what you want to hear. Like, everybody just says what you want to hear. And that's just a bunch of lying. Like, specifically for my critical dives, I was looking for my favorite games, which is why a lot of it was probably skewed. Because uh, I was not really looking to review, I was looking to analyze. I was actually analyzing the games and saw what they did right to me. And how I could see that in other games, and I saw how it kind of like helped the games perform a lot better. In the sense of fluidity, game flow, a lot of things. And... Yeah, it's just why I enjoy a lot of those games. And I'm able to discern what games I enjoy from the games I don't enjoy. And I am biased. Everybody's biased. Like, you know, everybody will be biased, especially in their game taste. Like, I don't understand why everybody thinks, like, oh, this game's 10 out of 10, it's perfect. It's like, no. To somebody else, it could not be a 10 out of 10. And, it, and it's just a travesty. So... You know, everybody experiences stuff differently. Like, you just have to accept that. Like, it doesn't get better when when you're, like, 25 hours in. Hey, maybe it will get better, but it should be good at the start. Like, a lot of the game's content should be good at the start. It shouldn't be, like, this 20-hour-long build-up. Because I don't see how they're, they're gonna be getting anyone new into their games if... They're like, so when does it start getting good? Anyways. Oh, you know, episode 500 of Naruto. I'm sorry, what? Episode 500 is when it starts? Yeah. 
Bro, episode 500. Like, you can't believe- Bro, I don't have enough time to watch until episode 500. I'm gonna be burnt out of actually watching it, my man. Well, dude. Too bad, bro. You should like it, bro. You should watch every episode of it, bro. Well, I don't have that much of a commitment, bro. Well, too bad, bro. It's like, you get what I mean. It's like, you have all this content, and you can't watch all of it. It's impossible to play every little game out there. It's impossible to enjoy every little thing out there. And when you experience things, when you play games, it's based upon you. It's your choice. Like, the whole point of free will is to want something, you know? Like, you would want something, and that's what makes you free. In the sense of free will. Now, free will isn't always right. Like, biases. Like, biases, like, aren't always, like, right. But it's true to the person. It's always true to the person that has it. And you should never, like try to take that away from that person because that's what makes them unique that's what makes them them if you try to take that away then why should you have a want yourself and why should you have your own view on things that's just how i see it and you know sometimes you just have to accept that everybody is who they are and you have to accept everybody has their different tastes and just enjoy it just enjoy it man like, stop being aggravated, stop being annoyed, just, you know, go along the trip. Go with the flow. And then maybe you might enjoy yourself more. You don't have to agree with everything I say. I don't have to agree with everything you say. We're all just little people on a big ol' sphere. So yeah, I've been digging this out too. Uh, I was thinking about making an underground farm, but you know, we don't have to talk about that. I just wanted to, like, mention the review thing. Because I might want to review some things when I play other games later on. See you guys.